This is recess for us. We're going to go snowboarding and sledding. Oh yeah! Okay, so this morning for breakfast, I decided to do the whole like cut out bread and put egg in the, in the middle of the bread. And we're doing it in the United States cookie cutter and uh, this is a chicken cutter and I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll do that and it didn't really turn out. There's just too much uh, ink. There's just too much detail in it. So I just have one of those, which will be mine and the kids get the United States and then for homeschool, we're going to play Explorers and Settlers of America game. So it's going to be fun. So this is what we got so far. There's my little chicken. And here's the United States bread. Fun times! <laughs> okay, so here's the final product. Little America backwards, I guess. <laughs> this kind of fun. Gotta mix it up a bit. <laughs> Who's liking breakfast? Me. I haven't tried breakfast. Except you like it, Isaac? I've only tried eggs and toast. I've only tried a little. Okay, so part of homeschool, we start out. Doing no, no. We start out doing a scripture study, and we take ten minutes and we read the scriptures for ten minutes. Then we do hot potato, and then we play hot potato to see who goes first to tell what they learned in the scriptures. And then we do charades after each person has um, said what they learned in the scriptures what they read then we do charades with whatever they read and we try and figure out what it is that um, they're acting out of what they learned in the scriptures that morning so that's what we do so we're learning today of kingdoms of ancient Africa Mali and um, I don't know how to say that Sangai and this is the story we're reading today which is a really cool story. I've never heard it before. It's called The Gryot's Tale. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And these are just kind of the cool illustrations of the book. And the story is really cool too. But I never heard this story before. So it was pretty neat. It's a cool story. And I really like this history that we've been doing in um, the curriculum we have, which is called The Good and the Beautiful. And it's been fun learning about Africa, ancient Africa, because um, I've been to Africa, to a, a few of the countries in Africa. So it's just been kind of neat to be able to, to learn more. Okay, guys, what are we doing? We're making Africa. Africa. So we just learned about, we're starting to learn about ancient Africa Ouch. in history. And Ouch. Ella Ouch. made Ouch. some homemade Play-Doh. Right. And now we're going to cut out, I cut out this little stencil kind of like thing of Africa. Ah. And they're all trying to roll out their Play-Doh and then they're going to 
Mom, we're gonna look it. cut it out with a knife. Look it. Cool. Sticky on. Yeah. <laughs> And then they're gonna paint it. So they're going to make like where the where it's more green and where it's more dry and where there's some rivers and lakes. Cadence, Africa. Is this beautiful, Payton? Good job. Ella's Africa is this. And Good job, I added Ella. a little island off to the side. Nice. <laughs> and I still. And this cup doesn't work. Isaac's Daddy. still trying to roll his out, and Tate's Daddy. gonna cut this his out. This cup doesn't work. No way. I Never. I loved I love cultures, and so that was why I wanted to go to Africa was because I really like the African culture, and I wanted to see the people. And then for bonus, I got to see a lot of the animals. And you got to see a hippopotamus. Yep, we got to see hippopotamus. Did you just get to see a lion? And I saw, um, yeah, I saw a lioness and some. You saw a kid. I saw a bunch of stuff. Did you, Did you see elephant? a cheetah? No, we weren't in the part of Africa that had cheetahs. So, I decided to get some of my Africa stuff out. That I got these when I was in Africa. So we got and then, unfortunately, I lost the ear to my giraffe. It broke off. And a little of that was here. Yeah. All the hey, things, look out. Don't bump it. It'll break. All the things that he just so, showed you. So this is how our Africa continent Play-Doh cutouts turned out. I think the kids did really, really good. Yay. And this one's mine. I think they did an excellent job. This one's mine. Okay, so as, as you've seen, um, we've been learning about Africa. And these are some books that I got. Before I even got married um, or even met my husband, um, actually my friends gave these books to me and um, and then I think I bought these books after um, I got married. I could be wrong. But the next um, the next culture we're going to be learning about is the Native Americans. And the Native Americans are another... Um, culture that I've absolutely loved for most of my life, if not all. And so I bought this years ago. Um, and then I bought this before we were married or and I bought this before I got married. And, but when I was younger in my, I think, 20s, early 20s, I bought a thing to learn the Navajo language. And I was learning a little bit of it, um, and then I quit. Um, had too many things going on with college and all, but but I'm really excited because we're learning about my two most favorite cultures, which is the Africa culture and the Native American culture. So it's been really fun for me. Here's Tate reading for homeschool. So Isaac gets to practice cutting. Okay, you get it cut, but don't cut the words out. Just cut, try and cut straight lines. Okay. He's going to make this. Wait, 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 Isaac, let me see. Let me see that little paper. rainbow with wait, Isaac, the rainbow Isaac, colors the are the, the rain. I'm going to cut off the top. Yeah. You, what are you doing? Um, what happened. Peyton has family home evening, the family home okay, evening yeah. lesson from yeah. Come Follow Me. And he's gonna. It looks like he's gonna be teaching us tonight about keeping the commandments. Shows that I love God. And I get to do my and you, What are you doing on the back of it? I'm nice. gonna draw what I'm thinking. You're gonna draw what 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 you were thinking of when you read the lesson. Yeah. Ready. And Ella has finished school, so she is being so awesome and helping her little brother finish his school. And now, she, in between, she's studying her own little scripture study. Yeah, just talking Loving about... Loving others shows God we, that I love him. Mom, we're learning about like the world. I'm just really impressed so with my kids today. I wanted to show you. So, Ella's supposed to draw this in creative um, or in handwriting, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it doesn't tell her to use... A ruler but she's using the ruler to measure the lines 
in this artwork and I would have never thought of that. So now she's going to have it like totally in proportion of the picture, which I just was really impressed with that. So I wanted to show you her brilliance. We got this boy doing his math. He's already done one page. Yeah. Now he's doing the second page. Yeah. Now look at the problems that he's got. It's pretty big. Dividing. These are some of Tate's words that he's having to be able to read, which is pretty amazing. Pretty big words. Complicated words. And look at this boy. He's in kindergarten, but he's doing first grade math. And that's so unusual. Good job. Doing great. Hayden's done with school because he did a lot of his school last I night. Some, I I some, I <laughs> and that's the beautiful math. thing about homeschooling is they can sleep they in. can sleep in, they can do their work the night before, so they don't hardly have any work the next day or any work at all. Yeah. So. For this? Ten percent of your earnings goes to tithing. So I really get ten goes to the Lord. Now you don't. Or you can give more. Is it ten? Yeah, so you give ten cents for every dollar. Ten cents for every dollar? Ten cents for every dollar. I have a bunch of dimes. One penny for every dime. Ooh. Wait, could I get Okay, eight dollars and sixty cents. So how much did you put in tithing? Um fifty cents? Nope, 86. Oh, 86. Cents. Good job. I'm trying to it, I have one dollar. Kind of fun, huh? If you have to. Fun science project for homeschool. Where's your kiwi? Did you already eat it? No. Oh, I thought you did. Oh. No, put it down on your legs. Doesn't that bug you? <laughs>